So there's been a lot of news coming out more about developer crunch because of course. Um so you know how like the top management of studios were like crunch is necessary to keep studios afloat, blah blah blah. So Telltale co founder said the cr- crunch uh Telltale was quite infamous for having crunch, right, where they were like uh doing all the layoffs and stuff. Oh, oh. And the co-founder was saying like the crunch was necessary to keep the studio afloat, eighty-hour work weeks, blah blah blah, and then Fortnite, huge success. The crunch was necessary because it was making a fuck ton of money. So, fuck you, basically. <laughs> if you work in the video games industry, oh. you got a crunch regardless if the company is shit or the company is doing well. There's been unfortunately mm. this year, especially there. Um, yeah, I know. I think it was both EA and Epic Games. I thought there was another company, but anyway. Uh, record profits. Bioware, I believe. Maybe. Well, that's just... But I just meant it, the bigger companies. Oh, right. So, like, EA, Parent, and I think Epic Games may have been the other one. Anyway, Record Profits. Oh, no. It was Activi- it was uh, Activision. Activision Blizzard. Activism. Activision Activism. and EA. Yeah. Record Activism. Profits, amazing things. All of a sudden, a bunch of layoffs. 800 people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, while their CEOs got bonuses. So, uh, Fortnite so, you know. had crunch because of the huge popularity and they wanted to uh, cash in on it as much as they can pretty much they mean the telltale upper management had, yeah <laughs> and telltale had to crunch to keep the studio afloat apparently did work right yeah. and now mortal yeah. kombat studio also has come out oh, For, no. former developers are speaking out about mortal kombat uh because the latest game just came out mk11 yes uh, mm-hmm. but these developers worked on mk9 mk10 and the injustice series which is the dc uh-huh. mortal kombat like uh the Injust the dc fighting game um yes so they didn't specifically say it, MK11 Crunch, but come on now. A, lo- a lot yeah, of the contracts it's... actually say you can't talk about, you can't talk bad about a studio while you're on contract. Yeah. So 80 to... Or they have post-mortem uh, yeah. contracts too, where you, you can't, can't yeah. like, like NDAs, say right? anything up to like 12 months. or I've, I've seen 16 months post-mortem contracts where so like you can't disgusting. say anything or else you... Like, they can sue like put a lawsuit something. against yeah. you. They basically it's sue just, you. Yeah. Yeah. It's disgusting. Um, Those kinds of things where the no competes after you've like left the company just disgusts me. Yeah. yeah. So there was a I guy. Mean, I that, get it to a certain extent. Yeah. But I get yeah to a certain extent, but. Hmm, so there was a eat. <laughs> there was a guy that yeah. was talking about how, uh, from, like an entire year's work, he only had one day off. Which was on his birthday, and it was on a Sunday, so... (laughs) Um, Oh my god. And they literally work every day. They don't even get weekends off. This guy went to his best friend's birth... uh, Sorry, uh, wedding uh, on a Saturday. He could only go after working an eight-hour shift on a Saturday. And there's just a bunch more stories. And the, the, the problem is, a lot of these top management... When they talk about crunch, uh, whenever you know they're in an interview and the interviewer, I mean it's face to face. You can't like run away, right? So right, they will say yeah. stuff like, "Oh, we don't force them to crunch. It's just uh, you know, if you show passion for your work, we're not pointing a gun mm. to your head. But yeah. that's like, yeah. you don't point a gun to your head, but you also don't renew contracts. You don't promote people right. who don't crunch. You know, yeah. there's a lot of different ways you can point a gun without actually pointing the gun. So." Exactly. You can just leave it on the table. They don't have to point at their head. And they just go with the super extreme, like, pointing a gun to your head to make it like, oh, that's not too bad. There were no guns to my head. I'm like... (laughs) (laughs) And then you get blackballed from the industry if you don't, like, comply with all of these unreasonable So not just losing your job at the current place, you might not get a job at... You lose your career. Yeah. Unless you go with, like, indies who are, you know, not exactly financially (laughs) sound. Right. I mean... Not yeah, that I, we don't love indies, like it's a risk. No, yay, indie like, developers go forth and like yeah, put your content out. But when you have bills to pay, and families to feed, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. The whole idea of the company is that I mean, in some ways, you're almost kind of sacri. I mean, in some that this sounds a little bit weird, but the whole point you would think of a company is you're kind of sacrificing a bit of the creativity for the security of the job, you yeah. know, but. <laughs> And there's no security. What's the point? <laughs> yeah, it's it's maddening. It's mad. Like the it, the like I love video games, but the industry just makes me so mad sometimes. 
with stuff like this i've had to um my first like full time job was a bartender and i had to work 12 mm-hmm. hour days 6 days a week and i was fucked for a couple of years after that i can't like i kind of have to applaud people that can actually even do things like that cuz i know i couldn't like i genuinely could not do something like that i would probably quit within the first week i just i know my body i know my mind i honestly unfortunately can barely even do like a 40 only reason i could do it was because man. i was like 21 i ain't yeah. going to do it now when i'm like 20 i'm, I'm 30 i'm not 20 anymore but <laughs> <laughs> but holy shit but yeah also um, exactly. the regarding the motor combat one the article was uh, on pc gamer and not just about crunch They also talked about how the top management had special little nicknames for all the women employees, and oh, also oh yeah, no, I heard about that, and also like how yeah. uh, junior level people get paid twelve dollar twelve dollars per hour, and some women got eleven dollars per hour for like the same yeah. position. Yep, and this um, people is the day and age that we live in. Mm-hmm. I know. Not even, we're not even talking about Riot, which Riot yeah. has its own yeah. special. Oh, oh, uh, oh. <laughs> there was a thing about Riot, like just recently I saw. There was. I I just spoke about it today, actually. Um, about them so trying to Riot, block people from suing or something, right? They're basic. So what it is is two. So they have a bunch of lawsuits right now mm. by former and current uh, female employees. Surprise. Two of them, they are trying to basically push back and say they are not allowed to sue because they had um, the arbitration clause when they signed on. So some companies have, and I'm not a legal person, so someone might be able to explain this better than I can. But some companies are they're trying to get away from this because there's so much backlash against it. Where basically, when you sign on to a company, you sign on to a thing that basically says like you can't file a lawsuit against that company. You have to go through a private arbitrator for any mm-hmm. issues, which or a mediator. Yeah, basically. And yeah. it really doesn't help the employee out at all. There's no jury involved. I'm not even sure if there's an actual judge involved. It's a really gross affair. So Riot basically tried to be like, "Okay, well, two of those lawsuits you can't you don't get to do because you signed a thing that said that you'd have to go through a private arbitrator." And it's just like, "Riot, you've had so much like bad crap going on right now with all of this. You've handled this so poorly. You're really going to put your foot down on this right now?" But they are. Oh, they are. So if you think of civil if you think of civil suits um mm-hmm. an arbitrator is like a step lower than a civil suit so mm-hmm. even if like people were to take them to court it most likely wouldn't endure a jury anyway because it's like a civil suit right fair so enough yeah, fair. yeah yeah in in order to do an arbitrator it's like it's all on the person to hire the arbitrator to actually put the civil suit into action. So, not only are these people being discriminated against, they also have to use their own time, their own money to hire somebody to do this lawsuit that has like a 75% chance of not going through. So right. that's like it it is so like ass backwards on how mm-hmm. the law system is supposed to work, right? You're supposed to protect the people who can't the small actually guys. afford and in yeah, exactly. Yes. And you don't even get a lawyer in an arbitration at all. You got just it, have the arbitrator it. or a mediator that like does the suit and then it, it it's really really just fucked up is what it is. Yeah, it's so. horrible. It's it's just a way for companies to try to give themselves that extra protection cuz yeah. they need that. So, it it's just it's just a it was just a it's just a really shitty move that they're going to I'm sure they had that clause in there, but the fact that they've yeah. decided to put that down be like, "Okay, two of these lawsuits you can't do" is just disgusting. It's disgusting. <sighs> yeah. You yeah. guys want to hear about one more thing that's pretty disgusting? All right, go ahead. Why not? <laughs> okay, so right so there's an app called Ovia. Anybody know what this is? Mm-mm. I don't know that. It's a pregnant I don't like it already. Yeah, it's a I know, it sounds bad. It's a pregnancy tracking app. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. Okay, yeah, so right. an ovulation tracking thing. I guess yeah, so. I was about to say Ovia ovulation. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, okay. So you put in like your, you know, your vitals and your cycle yeah, and all the cycle kind of stuff. And stuff. Yeah. So they have I think people can just download the free version and use it like a tracking app. Um, but there's also a premium version that is sold to companies. 
and companies then will okay so for the for this particular example the company is Activision Blizzard because of course so of course Activision Blizzard like you know they signed a contract or bought the premium version of the OBR app so what they do is Activision then offers this app to their employees <clears throat> So basically telling the employees, if you use this app to track your pregnancy, like actual pregnancy, the baby is in the oven already, you will get a, a dollar a day in gift cards kind of thing. And we will get your your pregnancy data. And they will and the employers were talking about the data and the women that are pregnant, like uh we want to know if the pregnancy is uh, affecting their job and work and stuff. And I'm like oh. that's kinda fucking Ah, that's it's almost that, borderline that, illegal. <laughs> it's, not, it's not. Apparently, it's not. Apparently, it's not. It's just. It's, it should it's be. Just, oh, it should uh, be. Uh, 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 this is one of those things where there's like, oh, there's not a gun to your head. Is it like, right. yeah, pretty much strongly suggested yep. for you to, yep, to do this so they can get this information and then, especially if you're to... like a a woman in an already like industry that is you know not exactly very. Accepting and welcoming, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Plus, you have this thing that you apparently can choose to do or not to do. I mean, yeah. I mean, so it's it's a step more of the well, the fitness trackers, right? Because some companies right. will offer their employees Fitbits mm. or yes. you know incentives for working out or losing weight, which is it helps the on company the outside, in it the looks really you know, cool. Mm. But yeah. yes, it's all it it isn't employee centric at all like people think it is. Like, oh yeah. yeah, we get these incentives for, you know, paying for a $15 membership to the gym that I never use. I might as well just yeah. walk outside my door. Um <laughs> or people will binge like uh fast before those weight um, yeah. checks every week so that they lose a little bit of weight and then they still get the incentives from it. But the companies are still tracking data and essentially like, yeah, okay, if your employees are healthier, then you don't have to pay as much in insurance, things like that. But they can also like deny benefits based on that kind of stuff, depending on the contract. Like they can offer you certain plans based on like how healthy you are or how like it's, it, yeah. And it's legal because if you sign something that says that you consent to whatever they're doing, then, right, then like, what are they going to do? Right, but I, like, the pregnancy thing is just 100% over the top because we already get, like, discriminated against for being, I mean, pregnant women have a, like, an, an extremely higher percentage of not being hired and being unemployed anyways mm. Because there is this misconception that, you know, pregnant women will take a job and then leave the job as soon as they have the baby. And that's not necessarily true. If you treat them like shit, then yeah. I mean, they will leave. (laughs) They're going to leave the job because you're treating them like shit. But it just, it's just, it's bullshit. It's just bullshit. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I can get on my high horse about this like all day. <laughs> it, it seems is, like it, it seems like the surprise Pikachu face is made for top management. Kinda, yeah, yeah. They're just it surprised really at treating people like shit and the, the <laughs> yeah. outcome of it. Yeah, and uh, it is. Why are people mad? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's big. No, no, it's- so, uh, oh, but all these men are not mad about what we're doing. Oh, I don't, yeah. <laughs> I wonder fucking why. All these non-pregnant men, of, they're not mad. Oh, all these non-pregnant 75% men. 75% yeah. of our company seems seem to think this is fine. This is okay, so we're going to keep doing it. 